everybody, welcome to the Law Doc Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be all about games that are great for traveling. Now, I don't know about you, but in the summer, it typically means we are going to take road trips or go on some kind of traveling, or at the very least, we're gonna be gone from the house, at the pool, at the beach, somewhere. So I thought it would be a great time to share some of my favorite traveling games. Now I'm gonna show some of them, but I'm also gonna leave a link in the description to even more, so make sure you check that out. Um, some of the things that I personally like to include when I'm thinking of a travel game is that it's small and will fit in my purse or backpack um, because I don't wanna waste a ton of room on a game. I also like that it doesn't take up a lot of table space. So typically if we're taking a game on the go, we might be playing at a restaurant while we're waiting on our food, or maybe you're at the you know beach and you're playing at the little table. Those tables aren't large. And if you're playing with three or four people, you're not going to have a ton of room. So I like for the game itself to be small enough to fit in a purse and not take up a ton of tabletop space. So most of these are going to be able to fit in your bag pretty easily and be played in a pretty small area because that's kind of my two requirements for games to go with us on the go. The first category of games I have are card games. Number one, hands down, is Spot It. This is the thicker one, but I have the smaller kind of, I don't know if they call it travel or whatever, but it's a smaller container. Um, and it lives in my purse, like 24 seven. It's always there. It's one of Emily's favorite games. It can be played relatively quick. Like they say 10 minutes. I think we play in less than five most of the time. It requires zero. Like you literally only need this much table space. Um, so it's perfect for restaurants on the go, a small hotel room. You don't have to keep things really orderly. So even on a hotel bed, it works. One of our favorites. Um, one of Emily's favorites is Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. This is just a hilarious game. We keep one of these in our suitcases for travel too because it's another one that's fun. I don't know that I would play it while waiting maybe in a restaurant because it can typically get, um, well, we can typically get a little bit rambunctious when we're playing it, but it's a great one for like traveling on the go in a hotel room, um, in a vacation, you know, Airbnb type of spot. It's really, really fun. Don't know that I play it in public though. Uh, we also have Blink, which is a very fast paced game. It's probably one of the quickest games that we've ever played. I think Emily and I can typically play it in under two minutes. You are basically trying to get rid of your cards as fast as possible by matching either the color, the shape, or the number. So this would either be a yellow, a star, or another card that had four on it. And you both have, there's two piles in front of you. You both have a deck and you're throwing down cards as fast as you can. Like typically, like I said, two, two minutes. Um, it is one that we do play at restaurants because we don't always get super loud or rambunctious. We can be okay with it. Like we can keep it quiet. Um, it, we actually have multiple of these uh, blinks and they live in my purse in a backpack. We have one that like literally lives in this drawer right here. It is one that we pull out all the time because we can play it so quick. Um, and it takes up such little spot space. You only need like a very small spot to play it. Uh, top trumps is another one that I really, really enjoy. It is essentially a war type of game. Um, they're small. They don't take up a lot of space. You don't need a lot of room to play them. Uh, there's a ton of different topics. So this one is predators. If your kid is into like things that go, they have cars, they have trucks. Um, if they're into ancient history, I think there's a whole like Greeks, gods and goddesses, Roman emperors, ancient times. So whatever it, it interests your kid, there's top trumps for it. Same thing with Flux. Flux is a card game that doesn't take up a lot of space. It's quick played as well. Um, it has pretty basic rules and there are a ton. This is chemistry, but there's like human anatomy. There's a Marvel, there's a Doctor Who. Um, there's a ton of different topics for this one too. And it's small, it would fit in a bag. Deducto is a cute game. It's two to four players, plays in about 15 minutes. So again, it's one of those quick play games and you only 
really need to be able to hold cards in your hand. Um, you do lay some cards on the table, but you don't need a ton of space for that. Word around, it is basically the word version of spot it in my opinion. So again, small will fit in a bag. You don't need a lot of room to play. It's one of our favorites. Uno, Emily's gonna carry this with us everywhere. This is probably like our fifth set of Uno. I actually, when we travel, buy these little like soap containers from uh, the dollar store because they're even smaller than my personal favorite to-go containers. Um, but this is what I keep our travel Uno in. This one lives here. My travel Uno is in a soap container because then I don't have to worry about it being a larger container to carry. And then the last one is Professor Noggin decks. These are fantastic. They're easy. I probably have one with me at all times. Uh, let's see. This is, I don't even know which one this is. Uh, wonders of the world and all you need is the deck of cards and a dice so I can say oh we're learning about wonders of the world and I might throw this one in my purse or my luggage if we're traveling and it's a great way to like sneak in more learning on a specific subject especially if it's one that I would like her to learn more about because it's a fun game it's trivia based there's over 30 different decks so a lot of different topics there as well Okay, next up we have dice games. The smallest and the most convenient, in my opinion, is lumps. This is, it's like literally the size of a pack of gum. So this really can go anywhere with you. Now you do need to keep score. So pen and paper, phone, notes app, napkin, all of those will do. Um, it's, not a, it's not like specific scores. You just need something to write a score on. But this is one of my favorites because it is so small and so easy to play. Anybody can pick it up. Along those same lines is Pass the Pandas. It has become a recent favorite here. All you need is a handful of dice. You don't even have to keep score. Now, when we travel with this game, I love the box. I will not get rid of it. But all you need are the dice. So when we travel, it even comes with the little bag. This is all I take with me. Um, I don't take the whole box because here's the difference in the size of these two. This is the box. These are the dice. So I just leave the box at home, take the bag of dice when we travel, and then we're good. Because you only need dice for this one, this is also a fantastic one for your pool bag or your beach bag because the dice, nothing's going to happen if they get wet. Um, so again, leave the box, but take that little bag of dice and you can even play pool or beach side. Roll for it is a small game. It doesn't need a ton of space. Now you do have to have, I believe it's three cards out on the table that you guys are actually trying to roll for. So you do need a little bit, but not a ton. Oh, this one's got a lot of dice. It's gonna be loud. Roll the bones. It is another game that is just a dice game. So you could play it poolside or beachside as well. Yahtzee is hands down Kevin's favorite game. So we actually bought the Yahtzee to go like cup. It's so cute because the score pad is like folded in half and it even comes with little pencils. So it literally has everything that we need in this little cup. And if you really wanted, you could use the cup as um, like the dice rolling cup. We don't because none of us like the sound that dice make when they're in a cup. That's just too much. So everything fits in this little container and it is perfect for throwing in my purse or luggage or whatever. We have never in the 15 years that Kevin and I have been together gone on any trip <laughs> that Yahtzee has not gone with us in 15 years. Um, it is hands down his favorite. So this one lives in a luggage um, and it pretty much never comes out because obviously we have a full size one here at the house. Pass the pigs. This was one of my dad's favorite games growing up. So it's very nostalgic for me, but you really only need this little bag. You have like these two little tiny pigs that you roll and then it comes with a little score pad and a pencil. Um, but you could keep score on anything as long as you had this little piece of paper that told you what each of the rolls was. So really 
you could get away with like just these two little pigs and that piece of paper and then you could just write on anything napkin paper whatever but i also like that it comes with a little bag so it travels very easily and it's light like it's very light in comparison to everything else so if this is in your bag it's not even adding any weight another one that is a favorite of ours is Wix. It is kind of similar to Yahtzee. Um, you basically have the specific scorecards and then the dice that you're rolling. This is our to-go container of Quix. So it just has the dice, scorecard pads, an extra scorecard pad, and then um, little baby pencils live in here so that I am basically ready to go if I just grab this one container. Next, something I want you guys to kind of look at when you are shopping are miniature versions of classic games. So similar to like the Yahtzee on the go or like any other one um, that you can think of, like Boggle has a to-go one. This is a to-go version or a mini version of Otrio, which is a super fun, like three-dimensional tic-tac-toe type of game that can be played think with three people, maybe up to four if you're playing Otrio. Go Trio, which is what they call this little miniature version, can be played with three people, two or three. Um, and it is so tiny and so self-contained that I love it because if we are anywhere, we can just open this. These pieces also move, like if you opened it upside down, they're over here and then you can be ready to move them here for the play itself. So it's self-contained zero mess you need such a small area to set this on like you could really even hold it in your hand and it's perfect because not only can three people play which is amazing for our family but we have colors in our family and our colors happen to be kevin is green emily is red and i am blue so this also was like perfect when we bought it because it's made for us we don't even have to argue over who's going to be what color because it's automatic like there's your colors play the game. <laughs> um, so it's perfect. So I just kind of want to encourage you to make sure that you're keeping an eye on, on maybe classics that you love at home for smaller versions that would be better for on the go and travel. Um, I have just as much fun playing this as I do Otrio. I find zero cons to the smaller mini version of this. Same thing with the smaller to go Yahtzee. I have, there's no cons to it. I mean, I don't find any downsides to playing this particular smaller version. So like I said, make sure you check the link in the description where I will list out even more smaller versions of games that so far I have not seen downsides to. Next, I have single player self-contained games. So I only pulled out a few because I could make a whole video about this because we car school a lot. And especially when you have an only child in the back seat, she has to have a single player game because there's only so many things I can play or Kevin can play with her from her, the front seat. So one of our favorites are the magnetic games from smart games because everything is in this little book. Um, for example, this is busy bugs. It's got a little clasp and even the pieces are magnetic. So it is so perfect for if you are on the go or you have maybe a kid who tends to lose things. This is perfect for restaurants, especially if you have multiple kids who maybe you, they don't necessarily play great together. You put a couple of these in your purse. When you get to the restaurant, you dish them out. The next time you go, you give them a different one and you know, you can change that up for a while. But for us, this is the kind of thing that we do in the car because it is fantastic for her to play by herself um, and still be playing a game and not be on a screen. For a little bit older kids, I really, really love like the Canoodle or the IQ games. Both of these have very, very similar setups. It is, for the most part, pieces contained in a case with some kind of challenge type of puzzle. So here is the example of IQ. Basically, you start out one of the puzzles to match, and then you try to fit the pieces in this one, let's see, the IQs typically have over 100. This one has 120. Um, the canoodles have quite a few too. Let's see. This canoodle has 200 because it does uh, three-dimensional standing too. So one of these will buy you 
probably months of gameplay because between 120 and 200 different puzzles, there's a ton of different things that they can do. Now I would love to know, do you take games when you travel or is that just me? Am I the only weirdo? I seriously doubt it. And if you do take games, do you have some go-tos? And let me know what they are down in the comments.